Remove the D from the DSLR and you're back in the film days. Forget that you have a computer and phone is just a thing with a big dial and spiral wires. What did you have back then? Negatives, right? Negatives that we used to develop. So you clicked some photos with the film, had, the, had your negative and gave it for developing. So suppose you have a cartridge of 36 exposures, right? And you gave them for developing to the photo lab. What they would do? They would simply print all the photos, develop all the photos and give it to you. Now out of those 36 photos, some of them will be really, really bad. Totally unacceptable, like maybe the flash didn't fire, maybe it's too bright, too dark, or maybe it's out of focus, somebody moved and stuff like that. There will be some shots which would be nice, which would be okay-ish. And there would also be some shots which are really good and there would be some shots which are really exceptional. Now, what do you do with the bad photos? Throw them in the trash can. What do you do with the average photos? I don't know, maybe you put them under the bed, maybe, I don't know. What do you do with the good photos? You put it in your photo album, right? What do you do with the excellent photos? Amazing photos that you want to show to others? You put them in the portfolio, photography portfolio photo album. So bad photos, trash can. Average photos, I don't know. Good photos, photo album, best photos, portfolio. Now let's come back to the 21st century post 2010 and I'm recording this uh, in, uh, I, I don't know, no, 27th November. So now remember in Lightroom, photo album is called a collection. Adobe calls a photo album that we used to create back in the film days, a collection. But there's a difference here. In Lightroom, you organize photos first. You select photos which are good, which are bad. You sort them out and then you develop. Back in the film days, this was completely different. You used to develop first and then you used to sort out. So that way you kind of save time, don't you? You save time and you edit only those photos which are great. Saves time and time is money. You don't want to see those bad photos in your Lightroom library. Some of us don't even want to see those average photos. Hey there, this is Inmesh from Fix Imperfect and today we are going to witness the power of collection in Lightroom. Coming up. Okay, step number one, sort out your images. Now, as you might remember from the previous video, we had already imported our images into Lightroom and uh, renamed all of them. Now it's time to sort out images. But you know what, there's a problem here. I don't like this information, I don't like this junk of information, I don't like these buttons, these options, these menus, it's so distracting, especially when you are sorting out your images. So how to get rid of this? Well, I talked about a shortcut in the previous video, didn't I? What was that shortcut? Shift plus tab. And it's already gone, and it's just you and your images. So shift plus tab. Now all you have to do, you have to click the first image and start sorting out. But before that, I need you to remember three shortcut keys. See, I, I don't want to burden you with all those shortcuts, but this is extremely essential. The first one is P. Okay, What's, what does P stand for? It stands for pick. Pick. I like this image. Pick this image. That's so beautiful. P. I love this image. P. Right? The next one is X. Self-explanatory. I hate this image, this is so wrong. I, I hate it. Press X. Big X with a spray paint, I don't like this image. So X. And the third one is C. Suppose accidentally you pressed X on an image that was good, that was kind of acceptable. So at that time you can go back and press U. What does U stand for? Unmark, unmark, unflag. That's what U stands for. Now let's go ahead and sort out our images. So this is our first image. As you can see, it's too bright. So what do we press? X. Let's go to the next one. How do you go to the next image? Press the right arrow key to go to the next and press the left arrow key to go back. This image is good. I really do like this image. So press B. Let's go to the next one. That's too bright. Press X. Let's go to the next one. Ah. Uh, that's uh, not bad, but not good too. What do I do with this? Remember, what do I do with this image? 
Nothing. Do nothing. Don't reject it. Don't pick it. It stays in the hard drive. Okay? Don't do anything with this image. Let's go next. I like this image. Press P. Let's go next. That's kind of okay, but why do you have two images of the same thing? So it's even uh, that's a little bit tilted. So let's go to the next one. I hate this. Let's go to the next one. That's good, but it needs a little bit of work. P. Let's go to the next one. That's kind of better. And why not delete this? Press X. Let's go to the next one. Ah, uh, you know what? I like the angle of and angle and the composition in this picture, but the thing is that's too bright. But you know what? If I, if I work on this image a little bit, I think it can be good. So let's try it out. Let's decrease the exposure a little bit. I can really pick this up. So press P in that. Um, no, why do you have this when you have that? This is good. Good, but not excellent. So let's skip it. This is good, not excellent. This is good. This is really good. But the problem is, as you can see, I don't want him in my picture. I don't want this boat either. So I don't want people in my picture. Why did you ruin this? Okay, so let's go X. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, this is good. I can pick this up and I can always go ahead and remove these two stands in Photoshop later. So let's pick this. Let's go to the next one. Same thing, X. I don't want that. Why did I even click this picture? That's so much distracting and especially these bottles. I don't want to come back into Lightroom searching for a picture with plastic bottles. Do Will I? No, you won't. So you just simply reject that. Press X. Let's go to the next one. Not that great. Kind of acceptable. This is good. Pick it up. This is also good. Pick it up. This is... Mm, skip it. Skip it. This is... Ah, skip it. This is good. Pick it up. Mm. I think this was great. This was. Yes. This is good too. And why do I need this? Okay. No, no, no. let's choose that again. This one or this one? I think the second one and the uh, the first one, let's delete the first one. X. And this is totally not acceptable the exposure is all faulty and the camera has moved and there's a lot of camera shake so press x and uh, this one is good but not great this is a really awful shot there's a lot of people plus this board and there's no way i can recover uh, i can remove these people in photoshop so simply reject that this is good i can remove but but no skip it skip it i think we are done so when you reach no we are not done there are a few more images so this is good pick it up this is bad really awful x no 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 maybe this is a maybe this is yes what do you think this one pick it up let's pick it up this is really attractive this is good bad this is uh this is really bad remove that actually you might think how did you get this image actually i edited this image when i was taking break between those two videos that i shot so that i already edited so that's a pick uh, that's not so good so we have picked out the images now what do you have to do go back to the grid how to go back to the grid what did i just press g now let's press shift tab again brings up all the panels now go to photos you don't want those rejected images in your library do you go to photo down at the bottom you would see delete rejected photos so when you click that three options will appear delete from disk remove and cancel now what does delete from disk do well, if you click delete from disk, the image will be completely removed. The rejected images will be completely removed from your system. You cannot get them back. You cannot edit them. It's completely lost. It's like shift delete. It's, it's totally gone. You cannot get them back. What remove option will do is that it will simply remove your rejected images from Lightroom. Your images will still be there in your computer, in your system, and you can always re-import those images into Lightroom. 
but I would personally delete it from disk. Why? Because I don't want to see those images with a lot of people. I would never go back to Lightroom looking for images. Where is that image with a lot of people and a lot of distraction and a lot of blurry photos? Where are those images? I want them back. I won't do that, will you? Okay, so simply delete from disk and it's simply deletes the rejected photos from disk. See guys, you're paying for space, right? This hard disk cost you a thing. This system does cost you a thing. And when you delete images, you have more space for new images, right? So why to kill space with the images that you don't want ever? So let's move on. Step number two, creating a collection. This is the step where we go ahead and create a photo album in Lightroom. How do we do that? Make sure that your film strip is open. So if it's not open, click this and your film strip will be opened. Next step, click the filter. As you can see, there are three flags, right? Click on the first one. And this will show up only those photos that we have picked only those photos on which we have pressed the letter P, only those photos that are good. Just a side note, if you click this flag and nothing happens, click it again because there's a bug in Lightroom that sometimes what happens is when you click it once, nothing happens, you need to click it once more. Now you have all your images clicked. Now let's create a collection. How do we do that? On the left, as you can see, there is a collections kind of text collections kind of panel. So on the right of that, uh, there is a little plus icon. Click on it and click create collection. Now name the collection. I would name it Mount Abu Selects. This means the images that I have selected. Now let's create collection. So it has created a collection called Mount Abu Select. But there's a problem here. I, I just made a mistake. What's the mistake? Just, there's just one photo in the collection. I want more photos. So so what? what's the mistake that I made? I selected just one photo. So you need to make sure that you select all the photos. So what would you do? Just Let's just delete that. Let's just go ahead and... Okay, undo new collection. To undo in Lightroom, it's Control plus Z. If you're using a Mac, it's Command plus Z. So let's select all the photos. How do you select all the photos that you have picked? Control or Command A. Selected. Now, let's click the plus here and create collection. Name the collection Mount Abu Select. And as you can see, include selected photos is checked right here. And let's click create. This will create a collection of Mount Abu Select. Now suppose there are some photos, there are two or three photos that I really like and I would like to put them into my portfolio or submit it for a competition or something. So what do we do next? Let's unflag all of them. Now that we have made a collection, we don't need flags anymore. Let's unflag all of them, select all of them and press U. This just simply unflags it, but the photos also go back, uh, vanishes. Why? Because there's a filter which says that only show those photos which are picked. So let's turn off this filter, click it again, and the photos show up again. Now let's pick the photos that we really like. So suppose uh, I like this one, I pick it, I like this one, I pick it and I like this one. Okay, just for a quick demonstration. Now what you can do, now select all these picked photos now turn this on again and select all of them and again create a collection and name this mount abu best let's go ahead and create so we have two collections here mount abu best and mount abu select but hey look we have created two collections and that can be frustrating because in near future you'll have a lot of collections maybe five collections from a single place and that will be a totally long list so life is about simplicity let's approach simplicity so what do we do now create a collection set right so how do you create a collection set click on this plus and click create collection set and name this simply mount abu uh, why the capital low again Go oh, and cre create and simply just drag it to that Mount Abu, both of them. Now we have just one simple collection set. What a simple way to organize photo. Now in 
What a simple way to organize photos. Now in future, maybe you want to submit those images. Maybe you want to upload them to Facebook. Where do you go? You go to the selects, you go to the best, upload three of them and you're done. You don't want to upload all the 35 or 50 or all the 100 photos, do you? If you didn't take away anything from this video, there's one thing that I would like you to remember. Always remember, people always judge you with your bad photos. Listen again, people always judge you with your bad photos. Now suppose you are a photographer, you went to a place, you clicked a thousand pictures. One of them is really exceptional, beautiful, amazing. That makes people go, wow, that's so good. That makes people want that picture to keep them as a desktop wallpaper. That's so excellent. And all of the rest are just average, just good. That's not, that's not bad, but good. Now, if you are there to upload all those thousand pictures, you'll still be judged as a beginner, even though you have that one picture among all of that thousand average pictures. But let me tell you one thing. If you just upload that best picture, that exceptional picture, even if you are a beginner, even if you are an amateur, people will see you as a professional. People will see you as an expert who has a lot of experience. Even if you click that picture with an accident, doesn't matter, you're a professional. I think we are pretty much done, but before we wrap up, remember, organize photos, create a collection, and create a collection set. Like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you disliked it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and keep creating.